morning vlog. Today is not going to be the most fun day for me. I have to go to, well, Greenville, which is about an hour and a half away from my house, in order to visit with my primary care physician or general practitioner, depending what part of the world you're in. You guys call them different things. Um, and my primary care physician is not the best. I haven't been able to find a good PCP, at least not locally, because my conditions are rare and every time I go to a PCP, they're like, we don't know anything about your conditions. And so they don't really do much except for just gather my medical records in one place and have a, a name whenever a doctor asks me for a PCP. So that kind of sucks because it just uses a lot of spoons to visit with them and they honestly don't do anything. They kind of just stare at me blankly and are like, well, what do you want us to do about it? Which is, I mean, I shouldn't have to be telling the doctors what to do for my medical care. But anyway, so one of the things I do to make it a little bit less shocking for the PCP is I print out a bunch of paperwork. So I have some information on mast cell disease because we're going to be doing some testing for that. Not with my PCP, but probably with my rheumatologist. I have a lot of information on my personal experience with IV fluid therapy and then research that I've been able to gather on it. That way, because um, this PCP was actually one of the doctors that was originally going to get me a port. And then when they found out it was for IV fluid therapy, even though I was like upfront with them from the get-go. But I guess once they fully processed that, they backed out and were like, we don't understand why you would give a patient regular IV fluids. So I'm taking some research to them so they can see why I did end up getting that anyways. Um, then we have information about any like changes in my health that I got. And this is just like an extra piece of paper that I can throw out. It's not relevant anymore. So this paper is probably the most important. It just has kind of any changes with my health and when they occurred and what's been going on. And that way they can decide if they're gonna do anything about it or just stare blankly at me again. Sometimes with my specialists, they really, really like it when I do this sort of thing and they really use the paperwork to keep track because it's a lot easier um, than like having to go through my super complicated medical files. Obviously they still do that, but they prefer to use the paperwork. But um, with my PCP, last time I gave this to her and she was just like, okay, she didn't even read it, so I don't know. But it's good for me because I have, I saved the document on my computer and so I have an idea of what I've told the doctors. Before I set up my fluids, I have to brush my hair because I haven't showered in a while and so my hair has become, as you guys can see, a knotted mess. Hair is all brushed, I am dressed. Time to start my fluids. We are on our way back from the doctors and nothing really special to report. I basically just told them what to do. Normal. Um, they're gonna send me to an orthopedic surgeon they're gonna try to find one that knows about connective tissue disease and they're gonna check out my legs to see if there's anything wrong with them. And we told them everything going on with the wheelchair company. It was not really anything interesting to report. I got a really bad like headache though. So I ate some food which made me super duper nauseous and it helped a little bit with my headache but it's still there. So I've been getting headaches a lot recently. We're not sure if that's related to malnutrition or another allergy that I'm developing. I don't know, it's really annoying though. So now we're heading home and once I get home, I am going to deaccess my port because I don't have the supplies to do it here. But once I get home, I'm gonna deaccess my port and be needle free for a couple of hours. Well, until tomorrow morning pretty much. So we're back now and I took a shower and look, no port. Well, I mean the port's still there, no needle I guess. I ain't got no needle in my chest. I took a shower, which was nice because I haven't gotten to shower. My hair is like super messed up though. It's like really dehydrated and stuff. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to find some spoony friendly things to hydrate my hair. I know one girl, um, Christina, whatever, I'll put her um, YouTube channel 
here, 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 here. I'm not even sure. Um, she uses like henna, so I might try something like that. I deaccessed my port, and guess who's here? Rudy. He's adorable, but also Nate. Nate's here. Hi, babe. Oh, update on my headache. I think it's related to my neck because when someone like slightly pulls up on my neck, which is kind of a neck reduction sort of thing, uh, kind of relieves the headache. So that's both good news and bad news. I mean, the good news is we know what might be causing my headaches. The bad news is it's not an easy fix. So maybe when I go to the orthopedic doctor, I can ask them to also look at my neck or I don't know if that's a whole other separate doctor. Maybe that's a Nero. I don't know, EDS problems. Our necks are also hypermobile because they're like a bunch of joints combined. And so uh, people with EDS tend to have really bad neck problems. And I was, I had them when I was a kid, but I had, I guess I learned to cope with them by resting my neck a lot. And this past week, um, or this past month really, it's gotten really bad. I can't sit up for longer than maybe half an hour before I start getting a really bad headache that starts at the base of my neck and goes all the way to my forehead. So I think that's what, what has been causing my um, headaches after my infusions. I don't think it's actually the heparin. I think it's just because I happen to go out and do things when I'm on an infusion and that involves sitting up. And so I think it's just been a coincidence. So Nate just left and I am going to um, maybe put some like IBD oil on my neck and forehead to try and help with this tension headache and then get ready for bed and go to sleep. Nate and I didn't really do anything special. We just watched some Prison Break, which is a show that is like super suspenseful and really annoying and I would not recommend it if you have suspense like problems like you don't like to watch shows like that. But now I like, I don't like watching it because it's so suspenseful, but I also have to finish it because it's so suspenseful and like I will not be satisfied until I finish the storyline. Ugh. I should never have started watching it, you guys. It's just terrible. Anyways, I'm gonna do some things for my headache and then lie down. I was also gonna do a face mask, so maybe I'll gather the spoons to do that or my mom will help me do it right before I go to bed. Anyways, thank you for watching today's vlog. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys later. Good night.